question in English uh, with Stenger Ule News. You both have military backgrounds. How did this affect your ability to cope during your, uh, the time you were held hostage? And a question for Atte, what did you learn about terrorism during your experience uh, that you can use in your own research? Um, in Finland, there are 1.5 million people who have similar background, similar military background as I have. So it's it's not as as unusual as as is is mentioned in in press. Uh, for me personally, uh, the training that I have received in 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 military helped me helped me to cope with this situation. So it, it was useful for me. For me too. It's quite obvious that it's uh, in the military we often get put into stressful situations and uh, I can now say that the, the situations in our training are quite unlike what I went through, especially in the moments when I thought that I was going to be executed or my wife was going to be executed. But I think it does help somewhat that you have these uh, mental processes that are already there. so you. I wouldn't want to call it acclimatization, but it's uh, maybe a, a bit similar mental acclimatization. With regards to your question about my knowledge, what I gained, this is not foremost at the moment in my mind. Of course, my research is uh, at the moment in the background. We are very, very thankful for the authorities, for everybody who has done anything, even just thought about us during our stay in this uh, captivity. I would like to continue with my research, and uh, hopefully my, my thesis will be eventually published and it will be available to you, and I, I'm sure that you will find it uh, interesting, Also, I hope, to read it. But uh, regarding my sources and stuff, this is uh, something that I haven't uh, at the moment given too much thought about.